of this Newcastle buff, huh? Let's do it, man. Mobile shield. <laughs> Yo, come on. Come on, man. What? Come on, man. That's it. <laughs> nah. That might be the only thing I need to read. <laughs> Can now be repositioned when he's fucking down? What is this guy? Beethoven just orchestrating every single fight possible, even from the dead? Yo, that is crazy. That is insane. They're gonna be this the whole time, dying, just now, literally orchestrating every fight. Revive the wounded. Oh, dude, I think Vaxlon had to read this, bro, and, 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 and pop a bone ski. He had to. There's just no way he didn't. Furia actually, JMO read that and just literally licked his lips. That's all he did. He literally just read that one. All right, revive the wounded. Revive shield HP slash tier increase by plus 50%. Okay, surely that's gotta be it, right? Upgrades level two. Thick shield removed. That's a great name. I didn't realize that was in the name. Hero's hustle. So much better than thick shield. Greatly increases move speed <laughs> when reviving. Can we get details as to what that means? What does greatly mean? Greatly sounds very drastic. That sounds very drastic. What the fuck is that? Is, bro, this is the exact... Like, I'm not saying... I'm not, like, laughing and excited because I'm saying this is good or bad. I truly don't know. I'm laughing because this is the exact opposite of what I thought was going to happen. Gen genuinely. I thought I was going to wake up today. We were going to have, like, maybe two to three changes in characters. I thought Newcastle was going to get nerfed. I thought, without a doubt, bro, no questions asked. Like, Horizon was going to get a crazy big buff. I thought Bloodhound was going to get back in the mix. Holy shit, dude. I am so happy I did not get any of this shit leaked. This is crazy. This is insane. Wow. Okay. And Stronghold. Castle HP wall improvement increased to 500. Got it? Yeah. That was 500, 250. Yeah. And Castle wall grants shield regen to ally. Wait. So did this get removed too? This got removed, right? Yeah, left side of roof. Okay. So Miracle Worker and Stronghold we know of, obviously. Allies in impact range gain shield regen for 15 seconds. Oh my god! What? Brother! This, dude, this guy should literally not be in Apex Legends. He should be right now being recruited to fight whatever the f the Marvel Universe needs to fight in the next five years. Get him out of Apex and get him on the next Avengers squad. Todd, these are nine months, bro. Oh my gosh, it's insane. The character that was described as a combat medic for the last 23 seasons is finally a combat medic. Wowee, unbelievable, dude. Who would have thought, brother? Hold jump midair to use the dock to briefly glide. Deploy dock to revive teammates, leaving lifeline free to defend. All right, tactical dock heal drone. Dock heals nearby allies. Dock can be assigned to follow allies once, once deployed. Finally, finally. I don't even need to explain that one at all. Throw dock to activate the halo shield system. All players inside use health and shield consumables faster. Bad pack, fire name. <laughs> Plus one battery per stack. See battery count in death boxes, who cares? The plus one battery, though. That's pretty... That's, that's actually pretty good. From the Rift level 3, enhanced radio. Increased dock assignment range by 50%. Reduce tack cooldown by 10 seconds. Oh, hell yeah, brother. Wait, I think Lifeline's really gonna be good. Genuinely. This is it's pretty insane. She's getting two passives. She's getting what I think is going to be one of the most useful combat, pit, combat kits. Maybe not in comp entirely, but 
but I think for sure in ranked. Gibraltar, here we go. Cooldown reduced to se Dome of Protection cooldown is 17 seconds. <laughs> Yo! What? No longer destroyed by Crypto's EMP or Maggie's Wrecking Ball. Insane. Hell yeah. Insane, it's dude. Insane. That is unreal. And they take away any counter for the bubble. Upgrades. Level, uh, level two. Fresh start removed. Shots, shots, shots removed. New. Big brother. So much cooler than fresh start. Increase ult radius by 20%. <laughs> Fast shotties move faster with shotguns and auto reload shotguns on Nox. We are back! Upgrades. Baby bubble now reduced cooldown to 12 seconds was 25. 12 second bubbles. Oh my goodness. Horizon upgrades. Battery collection removed. Yeah, that shit was ass. Bat pack. In addition to extra battery per stack, this also shows battery counts and death box. <laughs> I'm 27, by the way. Mirage. Life of the party. Health bars no longer show during ultimate to give away the real Mirage. Alongside Lifelines Revival, the support class getting a specialization of their own through two new perks. Heal expert and revive expert. Empowering their reset and recovery role on the team. No longer an exclusive class perk and instead will be accessible to all legends. What? I just got fucking painted. Heal expert. Support legends. Now move at full walk speed while healing. Okay. More of a selfish thing than a team thing. For sure. Healing amount from small meds is doubled. Huh? <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> what? Wait, that's 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 bananas. Like, not to sound my age, but that's bananas. I'm getting 50 off a of shield cell, brother. Are we for real? Revive expert. Support legends have 25 faster, 25% faster revives. Revives, revives for the revives. And grant health regen to their ally on a successful revival. So that is no long... What about the characters that have the perks that you could choose? Wait. So what about the characters that you could choose to have the 50, 50 health come back when you start reviving? Support Legends will also receive this health regen if revived. Holy. This health regen will restore an ally to full health, but can be canceled by incoming damage. Oh, oh my... Oh my... Oh my god! Oh my god! Additionally, banner crafting and ally death boxes now spawn in mobile respawn beacon. Support legends can see the mobile respawn beacons inside death boxes. What? That is crazy! Collecting banners will automatically table, take a mobile respawn beacon in an ally death box if possible. Oh my goodness. Wait, they are, they, this is definitely the support season. No questions asked. This is definitely the support season. Into the Rift bringing nostalgia, but we're also bringing something new, skill display movements, improvements. This new feature will display the balancing of each match and update live as each player loads into the match, giving you a true rank distribution of all players. This is either going to go exceptionally well for them or exceptionally bad, showing how dog shit their matchmaking is. W feature, but I think this might be used against them in the long haul. New universal melee, Raptor's Claw. That thing looking kind of fire. That's kind of sick. Better health state, awareness, and feedback. Added voice lines for when players are low on health. Added voice lines for when players are low on shields. Added prompt to heal when players are low on health. Healing HUD icon will now flash when players are on low health. Okay, sure. Better ammo awareness and feedback. Out of voice lines when players are running low on ammo, whatever. That's just helping like helping out new players, which I'm about more than anything else. We have a lack of new players coming into the game and a lack of uh, a lack of players who play the game first time staying to actually keep playing because the game is awful for new players. So that's pretty much helping those guys out more than anything else, which is cool. I'm fine with that. Care package. Devotion returns to the floor. Spin up time decreased. If this is a whole devotion buff, I'll shit everywhere. Reverse hip fire, tightens slower and is less accurate. Okay. And removed turbocharger slot. W. That's fine with me. That's really cool. I'm cool with that. All right. So Devo goes out and the havoc goes in. It's about damn time. Keep that in there, man. Improved hip fire, magazine size increased to 36. Damage increased to 19. 
select fire, high ammo consumption, deadly accurate, dev, de deadly accurate, devastating damage. Wait a minute, I'm about that. Wait, I am so about that. Gameplay updates, crafting stations. All legends can now craft banner cards, insane. Loop in reset. If a player is a near, is near a bin during the reset phase, loop in will now eject loot. Even if that bin was not open recently. Oh, shit. they're definitely catering more towards new players. Gold bins now spawn fewer pieces of gold loot, okay? Mythic bin updates. Can now be tracked and pinged through walls more easily. Improve logic to consider the weapon. If the weapon you have is already a gold weapon and instead grants a different upgrade. Whoa. All right, so more so smart loot on the mythic bins. Location is now announced before spawning is marked in the mini and full maps, and a warning is issued in game. Time to open reduced to ten seconds was eleven. A full seconds does make a difference. Sometimes there's the difference between life and death. Updated mythic bin icons for clarity and consistency. Cool. Ammo and attachments, hop ups, boosted loader now activates at zero. Animal ammo now goes on the sentinel. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Senti buff. Senti buff? Gun shield generator. Shield recharge cooldown time decreased to 10 seconds was 12. Reduce spawn rate, sure. Hammer point rounds, reduce spawn rate. W. F yeah, get him out of here. Weapons, L star. Damage increased to 18 was 17. Fire. Cold magazines now reduce the cool off time more than purple mags. Low key, actually pretty sick. And smoothed out cool off animations. W. We'll take that Lombo. Damage increased to 60. Oh my god. We're three tapping, baby. We're f three tapping. Charging up the Sentinel with boosted loader equipped will overload the next mag as though it were a bo boosted reload. Whoa. Okay. Increased energized capacity. Increased energized total time. Successfully charging up with the Sentinel with a shield cell will also trigger a re reload. All right, Spitfire LMG. Damage increased to 19 was 18. Sure, that's fine. Peacekeeper, choke speed increased. Why not? Triple take, choke speed increased. Fire rate slightly increased. That might be a buff that is really, really strong that no one's really going to recognize until maybe a couple of week, a week in. Conduit, save your speed. That, by the way, that, yeah, that's like the small med thing is gigantic for any off spawn fights, etc. That's, that's fucking huge. That's genuinely a gigantic thing. That, I can't believe I just read that. Giving gold armor to those characters that are he like healing experts is pretty mind-blowing. I'm a huge fan. I'm not against it. I just can't believe that shit. Uh, Conduit, save your speed. Now works on ally death boxes and crafters when a banner can be retrieved. Now works on respawn beacons and mobile respawn beacons when carrying an ally banner. Now works without min... Range limit on downed allies, allowing Conduit to race all the way to her fallen teammate. Okay. So they're pretty much just making her get to things quicker, which I don't really mind. Uh, Crypto. Survival drone. Now takes ring damage. Oh, that, dude, that is, that is gigantic nerf. Like, genuinely a gigantic nerf. Think about all the rats that we see in competitive Apex with their drone inside the zone so no one can find them when they're invisible. That is huge. That is genuinely huge. I like that a lot. Big fan. Big fan of that change. Um, upgrades off the grid. Players within 20 minutes of crypto will now be able to spot a faint cloaking flicker. Oh, GG's. Character's chalked. Ever affect every 1.5 seconds to help identify hitting cryptos nearby. Oh, yeah. I said 20 minutes. Oh, my bad. I'm at 20 meters. My fault. Cloaked audio range and volume have been increased. Sure. That's, that character's chalked, Ola.